this will be fun. A game called Aquatico. A game where we build a city under the water because the uh, asteroid hit the earth and melted the polar ice caps and we had to move underwater. So the game came out today and the developers have sponsored this video. If you want to check out this game, make sure you click on that link to get the game on Steam or on the Epic Game Store. So I think we should create our brand new colony. Deep Sea 9, more like mm, tentacle acres. And we're going to choose our banner because something seems SpongeBob-y about this. That guy looks cool. I like that. Let's make it yellow because it seems yellowish. We'll be on the shallow reef because it's the normal difficulty and everything looks good there to me. Look at the orca. He's so cool. I wish I could have a pet orca. Choose a location for your people to build a subsurface base. Ooh. This is looking nice. We have a nice green area here. There's an area down here that's rich with crude oil. Oh boy. This is gonna go all American all real quick. So let's uh, flop that around. We can put it right about here, right next to that mountain range. Okay. Underwater colony is a great responsibility. Oh, great. They entrusted me with responsibility. Going underwater is our last chance of survival. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, look, there's our drones. And then there's our two humans. Nice. It's literally human. Lennox the human. He's going to copy some stuff in River. This is going very hard in Firefly already. So we have a few things we need to do. We need a sponge collector because we have to have sponges. And then we can collect the sponges by getting a sponge collector, obviously. And those work really well with the plastic factory. I don't know how sponges turn into plastic, but we do need that. Should be a good area over here. Let's get the oil platform going, and we have to turn on the menu to see where the oil is richest at. And I think that should be a good spot right next to whatever these are. Some underwater geysers, maybe? Maybe we get some hydrother hydrothermal power? And if we're going to create an oil platform, we have to have an oil refinery for the fuel. Now, we will have a long pipeline going back to base, so let's put this about right here. Try to conserve as much real estate as we can. And then we will connect the two together. All right, from you to you, beautiful. And then the plastics will be sent over to the plastic refinery as soon as I build one of those too. So we have the plastic factory. And I kind of like having everything on like a same line. So we can put that right about here. And then we will run the pipeline between these two because that's the way I do things around here. Look at that. I actually lined that up perfectly. I'm impressed with myself. Go, little drones. Your life depends on it. Actually, ours does. Oh, look. That's a giant shell. And these sponges are huge. I didn't realize how big they are. Yeah, we totally get to put in some hydropower on there. On the vents. Nice. Everything's looking good. Being built. Our plastic factory was the first one completed, even though it's the last thing we need. It's like, hey, dummy. Why don't you hook me up to some actual something I can make into plastic? Oh, it's, it's working now because we do have plastics. Nice. And our fuel refinery goes from the oil platform. That's at 100% efficiency too. Very good job, Blitz. Sure. Next thing we should probably do is get some research going, get that tidal turbine so we can get some electricity. And while that's researching, I'm gonna build a small dome for my humans. Let's do that over, oh, I want all my like production over here. So let's put in this right over this way. Oh, that's gonna be so big, I'm excited. And we will run that main pipeline all the way through our base and across the sponges. Because destroying environment is all we're about. Ooh, we have new people arriving. Well, <laughs> don't have a place for you to live yet. But you guys hang out outside for a little bit. So I can build up a house for you. Cool, house one on top of our dome. I'm gonna build like all of these. How expensive is this? Uh, takes a little bit of credits and plastic. That's fine, I'll build five. Very good, the dome has been completed and we can go back downstairs. Now, if they're gonna be hungry, we're gonna build food for them. Let's get an oxygen generator researching as well. And let's get some food going. Production buildings, this isn't production, we need the food buildings. Okay, so we have a gatherer's place for edible fauna like mussels, snails, and sea cucumbers. We can put that right next door, that should work out. And we can also build a fishman's hub, so they go fishing. And unfortunately, I can't build it there. Let's build it right here instead. Give me that sweet, sweet oxygen generator, please. And we need to build in some of the power generation too. So production, the tidal wave maker, neato. We'll do that right here. And then we'll do another one next to it and another one. I should only need three right now. Cool, this one will work. Hopefully nothing dangerous comes out of the bottom of the ocean and eats us. But we are generating power, so that's awesome. We need to generate some oxygen now too. And we'll put that right over here next to the other buildings. 
And negative 25 to positive 74. That works for me. I'm excited about that. Now we probably will need a drone factory and a battery factory. Batteries keep the drones alive. Drones keep the drones alive. Research completed. Cool, exactly what I needed right now. More work to do. I think I might wanna put in that battery factory somewhere right up here. This could be good. Ooh, and three more drones have arrived. I like what I hear. We'll connect these up like such as, cool. So we now have batteries being constructed. Now, one thing I wanna do is, since we're a little low on fuel, I'm gonna boost the production of my oil platform. That'll give us a little bit raw, more raw fuel. And then we're gonna boost the optimization here, as well as the production. As soon as I have 10 more plastics to deal with, I only have six right now. Speaking of which, I might be able to find some to clear on the map. Sometimes there's oil spills and things we can pick up, like right about here. This looks like it could be a metal. Yep, that's iron. And there's plastics right over here and some more plastic. Look at us just cleaning up, that's iron, cleaning up the ocean floor. That's if we pollute it even more. Go little buddies. <laughs> I like their walking animation. They're so excited to run over here. Ooh, are those sponges? Like giant pots. Awesome, we've got our 13 plastic, 16 plastic now, so we can boost our production up. Very nice. I also want to paint it. Oh, wow. There's a lot of options here. It's kind of cool. And now we're up to 22 fuel. So not terrible amount, but should work all right. Now, one thing I've learned is we don't want to expand too fast in this game. If we do, we can run out of resources pretty quickly. And the one resource we might be running out of pretty soon is food here. So we're going to research our way over to the Sea Hunter's Lodge. Ta-da! And we can start hunting some stuff. Ooh. Hey, three new people? Okay, it's a little bit scary because that's what I was talking about with the food situation. But I did boost the expansion and I can get bigger baskets so we can get more food. Also, I have zero idea how productive this area of the map is for fish. I probably should have moved that somewhere different. So let's do that with the Sea Hunters Lodge. Ooh, Sea Hunters produce shark meat. Ooh, ah, uh ah. -uh. All right, shark meat coming in over here. I don't know, this could be good. There is the abyss over here. Let's put it in right there. I'm sure there's some tooltip somewhere that I totally missed reading about. That would have helped me a lot making a good decision on where to put my shark hunter. Ooh, 400 plastic. Thank you, game. Now, shark meat should help us out significantly. Does take more oxygen, too. We're only plus eight on that right now, so maybe it's time that we upgrade our oxygen maker. Have you collected all the sea sponges? I think you might have. That's not good, but I will boost this. Production boost and optimization times two. Eight to 48, that's perfect. We are gonna need more fuel, so let's grab another oil platform, and I'm not sure how this works with putting two of them together like this, but we're gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna tell my drones to gather all of these resources. What is that? That's stones? Huh, interesting. I don't plan on putting another fuel refinery next to it. i you just kidding, because it's all dark there, I can't. Maybe we'll just put a fuel refinery next to the thing. Oh, and three more drones, cool. How's the shark hunters doing? You guys collecting some good sharks? Yeah, it looks like we're bringing some food back, so that's cool. We have two sharks. Very good. Oh yeah, bringing that food in. So that sounds like it's time for a little bit better field. And that's the underwater field where we can grant agriculture to ourselves. Probably should grab some of these things afterwards. They're great but expensive way of producing food. Harvest them come once a year as the seaweeds, for example, take a year to grow. All right, keep that in mind. This is looking like a good spot here. Can we do a little bit of this? Oh, wow. It's a little big. Aha, uh -huh. we'll turn that around to right there. Exactly what I was planning on doing. And I believe that is a fertile area. Mostly not. Where would be a fertile area? Why don't we drive a pipeline right through a fertilist area? Not gonna lie, that looks like about as good a spot as any. Just the door's a long way away. That's all right with me. Oh, I didn't realize we could plant drones. Uh-oh. Yeah, we have to assign the, the food. Okay, so if I look in here, we have two different types. 199 sea cucumbers for 155. I think that's a better deal. Let's add that. Now I'm gonna build another sponge collector right in the middle of this area because there's some good sponges there. Oh, wow. Sending us financial help. Good, 800 credits. Thank you very much. Now I did boost up this thing. Gives us 440% production. Now we could tell it to harvest primarily but we are gonna start planting a bunch of them there too. Actually, I'm just gonna have a plant and harvest. That'll be perfect. Now, I think I'm gonna move this fisherman's hub over closer to this thing, just because it seems like a good idea to do. 
Mishman's hub right over here so the two can work in conjunction junction with each other. And obviously I can't because there's a red barrier there. Got it. And we're gonna delete this one. Goodbye, little fisherman's hut. I should really move this to and I think I'm going to do the research for the Sea Hunter Trident because we get a 10% bonus and I like bonuses. Low number of idle drones. Ooh, interesting. You require more idle drones. Did I forget to build a drone factory? Oh no, how could I have done such a thing? I don't have enough plastic. I almost do. Give me some more plastic factory. Like I want to use more plastic to expand my plastics factory, but I can't because I need to buy a drone factory instead. Build me a beautiful building that I desire game. And ta-da, it's completed. Drone factory online. Oh, cool. More people have arrived. Now I'm gonna be getting close to maximum capacity, I think. Let's see. One of four, one of four. Okay, we have a few more. No more houses for people. Why, there's a resident in each one. Just go move in by yourself. Quit being bachelors and stuff. Fine, I'll build you another house. I just quit your whining. I don't know how many I need, but I'm gonna build three of them. And by three, I mean a bunch more than three. There you go, friends. Oh, look, <laughs> all the sea cucumbers are growing. Literally like cucumbers. That's a little weird, but totally understandable. I think I'm gonna build another underwater field just because I like the idea of having underwater fields. Okay, let's stretch it out all the way. Oh, come on. And I need more plastic. I think I'd better be using that plastic for housing though. Cause my people are like, dude, we need to, we need a bed to sleep in. Oh, speaking of which, thank you, HQ. On second thought, I'm gonna build up my giant factory. Yay. Oh, we also have no space in stock. I should probably build up the depot. Where is that? Yay, the depot. Good old storage building. And in this one, we're gonna do the seaweed. Look at the little squids. They're kind of adorable in an adorably weird kind of squiddy way. Kind of feel bad that we're hunting them for food. But the good news is our depot is completed and our stock is looking pretty nice. Also, the houses got constructed, so we have houses on top of our dome. That almost makes me want to give them fun things like, ooh, subsurface bases, nice. Let's do this one. So we built up the clothes shop and that'll give us an upgrade to the subsurface base. We also have a pipeline leaking. Where's that, right here? Fix it, fix it. Thank you. Oh, nice, we're getting a few more resources maybe? Oh yeah, beaming them down, that's awesome. Open up the top, beam them into the hatch, and I'm not even sure what we're getting here. And our base is about to level up. Oh, cool, there we go, just dump a bunch more stuff in there and pull it back out. Thank you for stealing my resources, I appreciate you. But that does allow me to get the raw seafood production, which improves everything by 10%. And we can also build the clothing shop on the top of the dome. This thing is huge. Uh oh, what is this saying? Hmm. Oh, we're running low on power. That makes sense. I was thinking about building one of those anyway. Production buildings, let's grab another turbine. And we'll put it in right about here. Probably could have upgraded the efficiency of the existing ones, but that's all right. We can do that as well. Production boost, and another production boost. And thank you, game, for the free plastics you gave me earlier. Oh, nice, and two more people have arrived in the colony. 174 electricity now. 190, that'll last us for quite a while. The oxygen level is getting a little low as well, so I think it's time to build another one of these, and we'll build it straight up right next to the other one, because that seems like a good enough spot. Right on top of the nice, fertile landscape. Now, I also just unlocked housing two. Okay, it can host up to five, it's eight by eight. So it's the same thing, just a little taller, and I can house one more people, person. Does everyone like their new clothes shop? Yeah? Yeah, I think they probably are happy. The other good news is I just got the trade port unlocked. So I should be able to like trade back and forth from other regions. I'm also way out of plastic though. So maybe it's time for another gatherer. Wow, there's a lot of sponges over here. Oh, awesome, check it out. Our drone is harvesting the first of the seaweed. Cool, and then all the people are like, yeah, we're gonna be eating good tonight. And they walk over a giant starfish. It used to be rare, oh, cool. We just got all of the sea cucumbers ready too. It's gonna be salad night. You guys still bringing in sharks nicely? Oh wow, inventory is empty. Please bring us some more sharks, we're hungry. Oh, we have a little bit of sponges here and small fish, cool. Oh, look at the rays, they're amazing. Although what's that, a hammerhead shark? Nice. It's kind of weird having a game like this where everything's above you. Usually it's like on the same level, but being underwater and all, it's kind of neat. Now one of the issues I'm running into is the lack of tools. 
So in order to get the tools, we needed to research the iron mine and then the tool factory. Now I did get the iron mine and I don't exactly know where to place this thing. Place on the gray blob to enrich. Is this the gray blob? Nope, is this a, is that the right color? That might be the right color. Oh, maybe it's this one. That looks like it could be ore rich environment. Definitely not the dark blue. I'm thinking this area is probably my best bet. Unfortunately, we will need to drag across the pipeline all the way over here. Whoops, drag it across. Did I actually do that perfectly? Hot dang, I didn't know I could do it that well, but I'm out of plastic. There it comes, there comes the iron mine. Ooh, that's a cool looking building. I like that how it's got actual like drills and stuff in there. Okay, we need to attach that, hoping we have enough plastic for the infrastructure. A little bit of a connection and not quite, 23. I also totally want to build that tool factory, but that cost 80 more plastic. And I did build another plastic factory here. That was producing 270 a year. We do have, nope, not quartz. There's the sponges, 531 sponges. We're using way more than we're producing, probably because I built up these over here. And we can give it the old pause. Let's unactivate these and that'll free up some drones as well. And now I should be able to connect these up. Beautiful. Does look like our basic goods production and our batteries are a little bit low. We're using as many as we're producing, so I can't really have any more drones in my life. And if I remember right, I have maxed out the amount of batteries that are being made. Where is it? There it is, battery factory. Oh, I haven't upgraded this yet. Nice. We can give it a little bit of a production boost. That could work nicely. 20% increase to batteries produced. And I'm wondering if I can find any more like spare plastic just laying on the ocean floor somewhere. Like right here. Oh, that's uh, stone. What's this one? Hey, there's some plastic. All right, fellas. I know it's a long haul for you to go to, but we got to collect it. We need it all. There's some iron over here too. Do we good? We're good with iron. We're not good with tools, however. There's some more plastic here too. Cool. That'll help out a lot. <laughs> Go little fellas. <laughs> Make that long hike across the ocean floor all the way over to my plastic mine. So it's so wrong because like in the future, are we going to like need to mine plastic from the bottom of the ocean? I mean, we should because we're dumping so much of it in there. There you go, buddies. Collect it all. Grab it. Wow. They actually grabbed it all. I'm impressed with them and they're underwater mech suits. All right, the one more thing that I'm really sad about, I wanna gather these sponges because I'm just gonna build here instead. So let's gather all of them. And then we're gonna build the tool factory literally on top of the, the uh, spores, sponges. Wow, yeah, there it is, 221 plastic. That's why we went underwater and went on a search for something. Okay, we'll bring this over, cool, and attach that. Little sponge, you're useful with no parasites. Wish I could say the same about myself. Everyone's like super excited running around, having a good time. I think everyone enjoys being here, member of Tentacle Acres. Cool, so we're gonna pop up another depot because we have no more storage space. That works nicely. And then over here, the tool factory should be online any second. So with that tool factory being constructed, all of our basic needs are being met and we're gonna end the video. Hope you enjoyed today's adventure in Aquatico. If you did, make sure you click on that link down below in the video description to get the game for yourself. Your own residents of your own underwater dome would be very, very happy if you adopted them. So again, make sure you click on that link in the video description and thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. So keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd like to thank all my patrons and channel members, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippius, Destructo Man, General Harris, Trent M, Joe B, Kodino, Zarnoff, Maxer, Ralph, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Deegan, Sakars Morex, Spencer T, Whiskey, Splatter Sex, Doug Rules, Nerdy Geeks, Gung Chess, Corian, Rob the King, Fred, 8830 O'Clock, Dalton C, Helvora, Sikander D, Grayson, Monkey, Kyle V, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Plays, Soviet Cat, Dredge Hoarder, Fireboy.